Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good hello, evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, Cesar. How are you? Hi. Good and you? How are you? <laughs> Great. Happy to be here with you. The yes. last video conference. Can you imagine that? Yes. yes. Yeah, you did it. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel, you are here. Eduardo, very good. <laughs> okay, let's begin. We are going to talk about expectations today. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's continue talking about different cultures, you remember. But in here we have like the structure that we're going to use. Okay, then we have the context at the beginning and then we go with, when you visit someone, what do you expect when you visit someone? And then we have here some options. It's the custom to bring a small gift or you aren't supposed to arrive early, right? So with these expressions, you are expressing your expectation, right? Or let's go with this one. If you want to bring someone, you are expected to call first and ask, okay? In different cultures, okay? Or you are supposed to check with the host or it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first, which is the, the, the same idea, okay? Um, are we okay with, um, let's say, with the structure that we are using here? Are we okay? Sure. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. Let's go and practice. Um, here we have, uh, you are going to match the information in the two, with uh, the two columns to make sentences about customs in the United States and Canada. And then we are going to, not to compare with a partner, but to create original ones. Good that's day. That's I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. No, that's okay. Hello. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Very good. So we are talking about expectations, Ivy. Look at here. So these are just examples for you to start practicing and then you go with original sentences. Are we okay with this? Yes? Okay, yes. Okay, can you please take the screenshot? Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go then. Okay, let me see. We're going to work in groups of two or three participants. So you have more chance to speak. Okay, mm -hmm. I sent you the invitations. Please okay. click on join. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Did you receive the invitation? Can you please confirm? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Can you Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. And what about Jaime? I'm here. Oh, yes, uh, very good, two, two, very good. Two. Okay. Uh, good. Number one, if you want to visit someone at home in the side B, uh, A, I, you are supposed to call first. What do you think? No, it's the, it's the, ah, yes. <laughs> Are we practicing? It's yeah. yeah. Okay. It's acceptable to share the expenses. 
Yeah. Yeah. Could be. But um, I remember. Um, I think that is number one with letter A. A. Yeah. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I think so. And the number two, number two, if you been to a friend's home for dinner. If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, you... Because I can see acá. Um... I think it's a little bit. Is the ghost to thank him or her? I think it is the custom to yeah. You write the answers. Okay, it's okay. The next number three. When you have been invited to a wedding. You expect to rest to respond in writing. Oh, okay. You are expected to respond in yes. Right. To confirm, right? Yeah. The number yeah, four is important. Very important. Four. Yeah. Very important. Confirm. <laughs> okay. The number four. When you go out on a date or date. When you date. go out on a date, you aren't supposed to on a date. You letter accept C. to share the experience. Letter C, you, yeah. you accept to post to kiss him or her, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a point. <laughs> okay. Number five, if the service in a restaurant is acceptable, it yeah, oh, yes, maybe, yeah, number, that number three is, is much with the F. Uh -huh. In number four, we said that uh, letter C. When you go out on a date, uh, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Maybe. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Yeah. Do you okay. want to do the next one, Manuel? Why is it with the... Uh, if the service in a restaurant is acceptable, uh, you are expected to leave a tip. The B. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you meet someone for the first time, you, are not supposed, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Yeah, number C will be. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Alma Brisa. For, for me, that is, that is correct. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Alma Brisa? I'm so Alma. sorry, teacher. Uh, it's, uh, I'm be late in, in this class, but uh, I uh, today die a uh, family. And a relative, I, I, I a relative, and I, I try to uh, the funeral. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And, uh, and I, I did in the funeral and Jardín del Recuerdo and Capillas Memoriales and uh, Esquela. Uh, I don't know what you say, Esquela. Esquela, flowers, uh, yeah. all, all the, the. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. But. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. so sorry. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to hear that. Yes, but thank you very much okay. for being here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, okay. <laughs> it's the last day. <laughs> yeah. We are talking okay. about, yeah, we are talking about... Today is the last day. Yes, the last mm -hmm. video conference. But you have... The last video conference, yes. okay. But you have until mm -hmm. tomorrow to finish okay. with the platform, right? Teacher, okay. only, only the exam, the test, no? The exam final? The final exam. Final test. Everything. Yeah, yeah. You are missing only the final test. Yeah. Okay, great. Only, uh, okay, <laughs> when, are, when are you taking it? Tonight or tomorrow? Tonight. Yeah, great. Tonight. Yes, do it. Do it. Very good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. We yeah. finally, I don't know if uh, Alma Brisa, do you want uh, do you want to do us um, something? Do you want do you want we ex uh, explain that we are doing to do uh, hello Amarisa. Hello, hello, I'm so sorry. <sighs> It's okay. There's something like that. We need to be careful for the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we done here? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to the second part of this, of this exercise. So now we're going to focus on a, a column A, and then you are going to, thank you, you are going to, um, to complete this with a sentence referring to our custom. So we're comparing. If you plan to visit someone at home, what's the expectation in our country? You see? Okay. That was, I mean, column B is related to the expectations in a different country. But now we're going to express our own expectations according to our culture. A am I clear with this? Yes. Yes? Okay. Can you please do it? So column A, let's focus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you plan to visit someone at home, You are expected to, or you are not expected to, to what? It is, maybe it is acceptable to bring food. Yeah, good, great, very good. Continue. In a, inacceptable? Or, or, or unacceptable? Inacceptable. Unacceptable. Inacceptable. You wanna check? <laughs> you yeah. want to check? Where is the, the correct form for? Okay, let's check. Here we are. Oh, okay. Okay. Inacceptable. Inacceptable. No, right? Let's go with un. It's un. Um. Let's. Here we are. Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, right? Right. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. okay. See? But, well, never mind. Are you done mm -hmm. with the exercise? Yes. Yes. Yes, great. Okay, now let's move on. Let's go with the second part of this, of this okay. exercise. Okay. Here you are. You work with this, and now we are going to do this. Um, these are expectations uh, that are uh, that belong to a different country. But in here, now I need you to please complete the idea according to our own culture, right? So if you plan to visit someone at home here in our country, okay. You are supposed to, or you are not supposed to, or it's acceptable to, 
and then you go with the with the idea. Am I clear with this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Color yeah. three, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. No. You are done. Okay, thank you. This. Okay. You're done. Yes? yes? Yes. No, no, no. Hey, okay, keep the keep the picture there, please. Okay. Uh, please. Give me one moment, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I find finish. Okay. Thank you very much. Because we're going to move on. We're going to have the second part of the exercise. Then in here we have. Okay, and in column B, you have expectations that belong to a different country, to a different culture, right? Maybe the United States, maybe Canada, as we were talking about last night. But now I need you to focus on a column A, and I need you to please finish the idea according to our own culture. <gasps> and the picture, what is the picture? I'm sorry. Okay, the, the same picture, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm okay, sorry. Okay. Please. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I need you to please focus on column A and then you go in and I thank you very much. And then you, you do it like this. If you plan to visit someone at home here in our country, you are supposed to... You are not supposed to. You are expected to. Okay. And then you go with the with the idea, but here, according to our culture. Am I clear with this? Yes? Yeah. Or no? I'm sorry, teacher. I lost. Yes? I'm okay. sorry. I lost okay. because someone is speak, speak me here. <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay. Okay, listen. Uh, Column A is the first part of the idea. And then you were practicing with column B, which are expectations from a different country. Now you are going to substitute these expectations and you are going to use um, our culture. I mean, expectations that belong to our culture. So you go with. If you plan to visit someone at home here in El Salvador, and then mm -hmm. you complement here with one of these expressions, but with the habit that we have. What, uh, what are you expected to, to do when you visit someone at home? We give some gifts. Yeah, okay. If you plan to visit someone at home, you are supposed to bring something. Bring, right? bring, bring, or bring bread. Bring, yeah, bring, bring sweet bread. Bring, bring. <laughs> right? Yeah. In, coffee. in my case. Yeah, bring coffee. In my in case. case. Yes. Uh, in my case, uh, I, I, I support that. I support that they, they, this person call me first. Okay. Then uh, you expect. You expect that uh -huh. the person calls you first. Call me first. Yeah, but yes. here in our but country, it's the same. Yeah, that's that's an expectation, but that I mean doesn't happen, right? Not all the yeah. time. Yes. Yeah, okay. But it's this yeah. ideal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that would be ideal. Very good. Alma Brisa, you were going to say something? Uh yes, a uh, regular I call my friends when I uh, when my plan is busy, uh, yeah. they uh, when they say uh, it's okay, and they then go. I I I go I go and uh, um, offer drinks, uh, foods, or yes, uh huh, nice from you. Okay. Very, very good. Yes. Okay. Erica, you were about to say something. Well, I call first, of course, and bring coffee and, and bread. It, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah because yeah. I love it. Yeah. And, and sometimes I bring, I don't know, uh, a movie in CD. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
That yeah. sounds like a plan. Very good. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Okay. Then you have fun, right? How do you say? No? How do I'm sorry? How do you say a, a charla? How do you say platica? Rich uh, platica. A talking? Conversation. Yeah. I don't and know then you if have a nice talking. conversation or, or that you have a, a nice talking. Talking. Uh -huh. talking. 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 Okay. Yeah. Talking. Talking. Uh -huh. Yes. This. Okay. Have a nice talking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this fruit. Uh, and enjoy. A wine cup. <laughs> oh my God! You enjoy. Enjoy <laughs> a, a glass. A glass. <laughs> okay. A glass Cheese. of wine. A glass wine red. Yeah. Oh my God! A glass of red wine. And uh, red wine and and wine. Uh -huh, wine and it's a uh, cheese. Oh my! It's delicious. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Very good. <laughs> okay. okay. I invent. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are you are pretending you are using your imagination right <laughs> that's good yes it's my imagination only. okay 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 continue you can continue um, other example yes because the the second activity uh, is, is that the teacher said that we are going to make our own expectations uh, uh, related to our country. Yeah. The example given are expectations of, of Canada and United States. We are going to make our own examples. Okay, when you meet someone for the first time. You are expected to pay the bill uh, alone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. You are expected to pay the bill by your own, right? Or you are expected to treat the new the new friend, let's say. You are supposed to call first, maybe. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, first, can we swap the order, reorganize the order for first? Uh, if you plan to visit someone at home, Okay. You uh, are supposed to give him or her some bacon. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's true. Okay, continue with number two. Yes. <laughs> Who wants to continue? Julio. Yes. <laughs> Who? Number two. <laughs> Who, Julio? Number two. <laughs> Number two. Information. Ah. If you have been to a friend's home for dinner. Eh, If you plan, no, if you have been to a friend's home for dinner. I'll say I can you a bottle of wine. Oh my God, red, <laughs> red wine. Oh, you, you <laughs> are, red, red wine. Yeah. <laughs> you are su supposed to watch the teacher after eating to thank really? him for her. Really? <laughs> no. Maybe, I don't know. I, ne I never... <laughs> Take you a never... dinner with 
na Manuel. Okay, Manuel, that is, <laughs> Manuel, that is nice from you. <laughs> but you know, you know, you are supposed to do that, but the guest, uh, let, let me see, no, the host, I'm sorry, but the host is supposed not to accept your offer, right? Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, are we done? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's let's go back then. Let's go to the classroom. Okay, we're coming back. Expectations, right? Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see what we have here. Before we continue practicing with this topic, we're going to have a listening exercise in this moment, okay? Here we are. Okay, listening. Unique customs. We are talking about habits, different uh, cultures. You will listen to people describe customs they observe abroad. Are we okay with abroad? Yes, right? Abroad. Yes? No. Abroad? What is... No? Abroad is out of your country. It's extranjero. It's, um, no, it's being out of your country, for example. Okay, here. Listen to people describe customs they observed in different countries, in different places. They observed abroad. Okay. Yeah? And then you will complete the chart. Okay, so we have here Alice, John, and Susan. Where was the person? What was the custom? And how did the person react? That's the information that I need you to please get from the audio. Are we ready? Yes? Yes. Okay. Ready. Yeah, ready. you were born ready, I know. Okay, let's see here. Page 34, exercise 9, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock, and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late sometimes until two in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until three in the morning? Three, Susan. I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay. Did we get all of the details? No, no. no? <laughs> you want to hear no, but... <laughs> Yes, one more time, please. Yes, of course. One more time. I hear on, only Spain. Oh Thank my you. God. <laughs> No, South Korea. Korea. South Korea. Yeah. Korea. Very good. South okay. Korea. What else? What else? Okay, let's let's listen to it again. All right. Page 34, exercise 9. Listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John 
When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock, and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, now we're going to do it, yeah, we're going to check it this way. I'm going to play the first part of the audio uh, when Alice uh, speaks, and then I will pause, and then you give me the pieces of information, and then we go to the second one, and then uh, we finish with the third one, right? Okay, one by one. Yes, one by one. Yes. Very okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Page 34, exercise 9, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. One, Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. Okay. Where was the person? He was in South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. Okay. South Korea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was so Korean? And what was the custom? Drinks. Uh, people make noise when noise. drinking make soup. Noise. Yes, very good. Okay. When drinking soup. Uh -huh. Can you imagine that? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> At the first, it bothered. Yes. At yes, first, she felt uh, bothered, yeah, but after that, boy. she got used to. Yeah. Okay. So she was annoyed, right? And yeah. and then she got used to it. Okay. Let's see then. Let's go with John. Two. John. When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? Okay. Where was the person? He, John, he was, he was in, in Spain. 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 Okay. Spain. Spain. Spain, right? Spain, Spain. <laughs> and what was the custom? Uh, having dinner, have dinner. Really, really have dinner very late. Very late. Uh, until and then? At or nine, nine, nine o'clock. Nine. Nine a.m. Yes. And uh, nine a.m.? P.m. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. P.m. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then? After dinner, came ten o'clock. They continue talking. They yeah, stay. Continue talking. Mm. Stay, right? They the, uh, the, the next you day. You talk all night until the morning. Yeah, imagine that. And then yeah. they have to get up early yeah. to go to work, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah. Oh, aha, uh -huh, or school. How did the person react? Right. Yeah, right. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's go with Susan. Three, Susan. I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. 
You feel really secure, and also you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, where was the person? Susan. Okay, and what was the custom? To cover all bodies. Cover of body. All body, mm -hmm. right? And putting something on the head, right? Mm -hmm. And then how mm -hmm. did the person ah. react? She thought that was nonsense. Yes. At first. Yes. But then she feels secure. But that, yeah. after that, she she uh -huh, she feels secure. secure. Yes, she starts to like it. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now we are going to practice here with this listening exercise. I'm going to show you the script. I'm sorry that I cannot zoom it. Okay. It's it's here. Can you see this? Yes? Yes. Yeah, right? Okay. Then I'm going to play the audio so you can go and read at the same time so you can focus on vocabulary, right? Because there are some words that maybe you, you want to double check. But after that, we are going to move to the next practice, which is pronunciation, right? Let's focus on vocabulary at this moment, okay? Let's do it. Page 34, exercise 9, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. Mm -hmm. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, now, I have a challenge for you, right? In this moment, I need you to please focus on, let's say, the pace, which is velocity, right? Fluency, pronunciation, and intonation. So I'm going to play, I'm going to play the audio three times in a row, right? And what I need from you is to read the script at the very same time of the audio. It's not repeat after me, right? And it's not a competition that you do it first or before, right? Because I need you to follow the intonation, the pronunciation, and the pace, right? Yes? Are we okay here? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay, you remember we did this practice before. So uh, the first time is kind of uh, maybe mm, complicated, maybe, but... As you practice, you'll see the difference, right? Okay, one, two, three, everyone, please. Page 34, exercise nine, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. One, Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 
2. John. When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock, and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, are we practicing? Yes? Are we doing the exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Second yes. time. Second time. Page 34, exercise 9, listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out... I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, very good. The third and last time, right? Let's do it. Page 34, Exercise 9, Listening. Unique customs. Listen to people describe customs they observed abroad. Complete the chart. 1. Alice. One thing that I had to get used to when I was traveling in South Korea was the way people make noise when they drink soup. I think it's because they want to show that they're really enjoying their food, so they make a slurping noise. It bothered me at first, but then I got used to it. I guess it's because my parents spent years when I was a kid telling me not to make noise while I was eating. 2. John When I lived in Spain, I was surprised at how late people eat in the evening. When you're invited to dinner, you're asked to come around 9 o'clock, and you usually don't start dinner until 10. And people stay really late, sometimes until 2 in the morning or even later. I found that difficult. How do you get up and go to work or school the next day after eating and talking until 3 in the morning? 3. Susan I lived in Saudi Arabia for a while, and when I went out, I had to obey the local custom of putting something over my head and wearing clothing that covered my whole body. At first, I found it a real nuisance, but after a while, I got used to it and even started to like it. You feel really secure, and also, you don't have to worry about what to wear all the time. Okay, very good. Done, right? Okay. Right. Yes, very good, very good. This is a really nice practice. If you continue doing this, you will see the difference. You will improve, like... Uh, fluency and pronunciation and you will learn more vocabulary as well right let's see here yeah 
Okay, let's go with the last talking here. Culture check. We have it here. Okay. Let's see here. We have competing cultures. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to discuss. And you will find out how typical uh, U.S. cultural behavior compares to ours. Okay. So here we have some different areas. Socializing in public at work and school. Dating and marriage. And then you will see the difference here. All right, let's see. Okay, I guess, yeah, it's better. Now you can take the screenshot and then I'll send you to the breakout rooms so you can discuss. Can you please do it? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Yes. yes, okay, let's go. Let's go and let's. Yes. Talk. Thank you. Let's go and let's talk. Different groups. Huh? Okay. Yeah, three or four participants. Here we go. Okay, please click on join and send you the invitations. Thank you very much. Yeah, very good, very good. Teacher, I got yes. problem with my com with my internet. Can you send me to the break room? Sure, of course. I'll send you the invitation. Okay, again. Hubert, what about you? Sorry? Yeah, I will. Did you receive it, Jose Armando? Yeah, but my I got problem with my internet, so I connected again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. There you go. I haven't received yet. Not yet? Okay, let me try again. There you go. They meet often kiss. I think that custom is is normal here too. Yes, it's, it's mm -hmm. normal here Salvador, in many places. In the many mm -hmm. okay. But in this time, it's very dangerous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Risky. But the wall is very dangerous. In, I I, I mm. in Canada, I think it's not common that to mm. to check when. They meet, or in like India to to kiss their friends on the cheek, okay. or India, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the in the Chile, Chile, yeah. The men uh, give kiss. The men give kiss in the in the cheek. Okay. It's Where? very it's very what? <laughs> in Chile. But the, in, in Chile. Chile, in Chile, the men's giving the men's kiss. In Argentina too. In Argentina as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Spain too, no? Mm. Spain, I don't know if it's between men, but in in Spain, the people give kiss and chew and chew in shake. The, yeah, mm. it's, it's correct. Yeah, in in shake. Shake. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I forget in Argentina. Is the place when the people are uh, giving a kiss in to into no sorry uh, the men the men yeah the, the men yes yes Argentina between men mm. okay. between men yes mm. Argentina it's very strange in yes in very our strange. country how do you say uh, cariñoso lovely <laughs> they are lovely cute cute <laughs> cute yeah okay 
en Argentina y este, en dicho en México, ah, yeah. en España es chuchik. The next. They, they kiss the, the two, both cheeks. Both cheeks, mm, yes. Okay, good to know. Mm, okay. okay. It's not acceptable to ask people how much money they earn. earn. How much earn. earn. They earn, yes. Earn. Mm -hmm. In, in this in this country, in it's our country, is is acceptable, depending the 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 relation with the friends with friends. Uh, the custom is when what? they when they have a a new work. Uh, I try to <laughs> to find out to ask <laughs> what find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other the countries I, is probably not in the custom. Okay, I'm true. sorry. And what's the answer? What's the best answer if if uh, another person asks you, "Hey, how much do you earn?" What's uh -huh. the best answer? Mm -hmm. uh, here, here, I think that is is bad education. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not good. Uh -huh. it's, 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 yeah, but okay. I feel uncomfort uncomfortable. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah. Thank you. Number three, the people avoid. It's okay. Avoid. Avoid. Asking. Avoid. 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 Asking is. Other about their religions, belief, belief, yes, beliefs, beliefs. Mm. But here, mm. no, in, it's not, it's not bad. No. It's here? normal, maybe in uh -huh. a country, but in Iran or maybe some country for this Radical. part of the world, yes. Yeah. Is, is it's acceptable. Uh, it's it's acceptable. acceptable. Okay, good. Acceptable. Okay. Next. When you invited to someone's home, when you invited to someone's home, people usually arrive on time or a little late. Okay. <laughs> in in our country, it's uh, uh, a little late. Little late. <laughs> Oh. A little late. <laughs> a little late. A, a little. little. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. A little late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Herbert. Hello. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yes, I was trying to My, send you it, to the breakout room, but it was not possible. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was the internet connection, yeah, sorry. Okay. No, no, that's okay. That is why we decided to come back, all right? Okay, oh, very good. Okay. Yes. Okay, so nice talking. Hey, very interesting, very good. Okay, people, we're going to make a pause here, right, because of time. But I want to thank you because all your uh, dynamic and active participation and um, I just need to remind you that we need to finish with the platform by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. I know that you are like about to finish. If not, I mean, you have finished already and uh, we are going to let you know when we are going to start again, right? You will receive the email or the WhatsApp uh, notifying you the next um, starting date, all right? Thank you. Yes? Okay, teacher. Thank teacher, you. Very, very thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, you. teacher, yes. Uh, yes. a question. Oh, uh, what is your uh, cell phone? Oh, yeah, of course. Please. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I will send you to the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, but please don't read it, okay? 
Here okay. you are. So you can uh, you can cut it. Okay. And I'm in the WhatsApp group as well. Thank you, you teacher. Want. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. Thanks Thank to you. you. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to yeah, meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for Thank you. Thank you for all. 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 Thank you for